Greetings and welcome to Scarlet Tower. I'm Catherine of Sky, and a huge, huge thank you to the devs uh, for giving me a key for this game and giving me several more keys to give away. So if you would like to enter for the giveaway for this game, um, go to my Discord and there's a section in the news and support uh, called giveaways and just make the reaction to enter the giveaway. Um, I'm really excited to show this to you. This is another vampire survivors type game. Also, if you don't get into the giveaway or you don't want to, it's very, very cheap on Steam. I think it's like $3.99 or, or $2.99. I forget, I forget, but it's very, very cheap. Um, and it has some really, really cool music. Music is great. Graphics are great. And the gameplay is also pretty fun. Uh, it's got some very unique features compared to Vampire Survivor, so it's not a clone. It is, uh, it's interesting. So let's get playing. All right, so this is in early access, by the way. And we are only, we are only have two characters available. We have Violet and we have Nin. Um, Violet um, uses a Scarlet Sword, which is kind of, um, I really like it because it's got an AoE and it's a slight... Uh, slightly, mm, what, how do you say, cast spell where it goes a little bit away from you. It's not full melee, right? And um, so then we can get these passives, but they cost money. Uh, Nin is has a cosmic orb. That is her main web main weapon. Um, shoots a cosmic orb that explodes, dealing 30 damage to enemies hit. Um, and she has also these passives, but we have not uh, really unlocked any uh upgrades for any of these so let's try violet first and then we have all of these different um menus at the top you can press q and e to go between them i'm sure you can also use a controller with this game by the way um i'm just going to use mouse and keyboard because i like it better uh with the wasd anyway we have um i have put a lot of money into this one pyromancy grants 25 percent chance to apply burn on hits 5% per rank. So I spent a lot of gold getting that up. The other options are Necromancy grants 1% chance per rank to summon an undead on enemy death. Now that would be really good if there's a lot of enemies, but in the beginning of the game, and this is a hard game, <laughs> there are not like thousands and thousands where you're going to get like millions of um, undead. Uh, Cryomancy grants 5% chance to apply freeze on hits. I kind of almost think that might be better, um, but let's go with the burn because we need damage defensive we have either increased max health by five percent per rank or life stealer grants 0.3 percent chance to drain five health every time you cause damage uh 0.3 percent chance per rank that is a very small percentage a uh, shockwave every 30 seconds generates a shockwave that pushes enemies away uh, cooldown is reduced by two seconds per rank so if you multiply that by one two three four five that's every 20 seconds. So I'm going to choose Life Stealer, uh, even though we don't have a lot of uh, money in it. Let's, uh, let's do one more. Hello, can we? Oh, yeah, right click this. Right. So now we have a 0.6% chance. So less than 1%. <laughs> it's crazy. Unlockables. Now, these are um, achievements that you get. Defeat 300 red bees at daytime. And then you usually get something. Where's the thing? Let's see. Ah, yes. We have, um, we get a thing. Is there, uh, mm, mm, what am I thinking of? I could have sworn there is a thing that shows me. Ah, yes, gold. We got gold. Now, the gold seems really random in this game. I was like, why am I getting 1,000 or 2,000 gold? And the first time I play, and then the next time I play, I got 150 gold. Well, it's the achievements giving you the gold as you get them, right? So, uh, anyway, those are the unlockables. Now, power-ups are other things. Um, you need to use purple stuff which i haven't gotten yet uh to get these better right but i am not sure i don't think you choose any of these i'm not really sure even how this works um to be perfectly honest i don't know what our hero is i don't know if they're human elf vampire or demon um and it doesn't seem like you can choose one you just kind of they don't choose anyway but the stats i do know these are pretty great you can put in money toward these different stats like hp gives you uh, more hp regeneration armor we got plus eight percent in that move speed plus 11 uh attack plus 34 percent i put a lot of points into that 
Uh, critical chance and crit damage. We added a little bit there. Cooldown reduction, 9%. Gathering range. I have rank 1 in that. It's plus 60%, which is pretty good. And then luck. Luck is is actually kind of important in this game. Increases the chance of collectibles appearing. So not every enemy is going to drop XP or gold. So luck increases the chance that they will. So let's go to the map. So, so far we only have Night Pine Valley available. Um, I don't know what this corruption level is. I think this is probably probably related to these modifiers the zero percent chance extra gold or xp or purple stuff so maybe we need to get to other uh areas in order to unlock um more uh lucrative areas okay let's go but right now we need to really work on surviving longer to get more of those things okay this also is not a directional sword it's, uh, I mean, it doesn't go the way you're facing. It just hits, it just goes the way it goes, right? Oh, there's a red one. Oh, no, it's not red. Ah, so you see a lot of these don't drop anything. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, so here we have our level up. So you can see the level up bar at the top where you get XP. The top things are your weapons and the bottom ones are going to be your passives. So let's see, do we want Lucky Charm increases luck by six? I think we want the Frost Staff. The more weapons we can get the better each of these only has like what one two three four five upgrades so it's quite different than vampire survivors they don't really have as many upgrades uh okay there we go two projectiles that sound oh fire staff is nice though i like the fire staff that one feels really good because the fireball like goes through enemies as well it has a lot of pierce so we have knives um that seems good fire staff more projectiles though let's take that However, every, um, I guess it would have been better to take the knife just to have more weapons. There we go. I just added those, um, like the pickup range and stuff, uh, just before, um, or uh, just after my last practice run. So I'm like, oh, this is nice. Increases damage by 15. That's nuts. Let's see. Do we get, um, okay, here we have our, uh, if we press escape, we can, um, oh, you can do aim mode. That's fun. Oh, and we can dash. Cool. Um, but yeah, we can see what we have here. Attack speed, critical chance. And those are going to go up, obviously, as we unlock more stuff here. Okay, there's a XP glob, blob, crystal thingy. Go on. Go on. Come on. But surviving longer is really, you really need some passives to do that. And to get those, you really just need the achievements. Um, and Because those give you a huge chunk of money. As you see, we only have 18 money right now. Midas fingers increases greed by 7%. That is the amount of money you get from gold. So I think we'll take this. I think we're going to take the, the Midas touch here. And, uh, and grab some more. Grab more stuff and things while we're at it. Okay, there's some more money. I hope it gives like fractional gold instead of like, oh yeah, it's only going to be one or something, you know. Fire staff increases projectile speed. Holy Bible, every 14 seconds summons a Holy Bible to orbit your body for seven seconds, dealing five damage. Okay, sure. I'll try that. It's not as impactful as the, there it is, it's tiny. It's not, doesn't feel as impactful as uh, the Vampire Survivor's Holy Bible, but it's okay. It's not too bad. It's just feels minuscule at the moment. Uh, let's get the Frost Staff adding two projectiles. That seems good. And then we have a Cunning Ring, which is a, is a passive that we could pick up if we wanted to. Okay, good, good. and pick up all this fun stuff here yay max hp damage i always want to go for damage really i i almost never get the xd hp ones you can see some enemies lighting on fire from the other weapons uh the i believe that the um the flame staff uh always ooh, gathering range or armor let's take armor actually there are times when we almost need to walk through the enemies because they're so thick and we can't kill them fast enough. So getting armor, seven armor is a lot. That seems like really good. Seems like a lot all in one go. Go. 
Frost staff, two projectiles. Let's go. Oh, holy Bible, two projectiles. That would have been nice. I want to try that one. I haven't really evolved that one. But I really like his uh, his sword thing. It's very AoE. Whereas Nin, uh, the, the mage gal, she hers is quite like, oh my god, a treasure chest. Let's go. Oh, all right. Crit chance, cooldown reduction. Man, none of these are really great. Maybe cooldown reduction. Eh. Oh my god, the chest. Okay. More cooldown reduction. Oh, take all. Yeah, I'll take all. Woo. I'll take them all. Okay, cool. I didn't realize. I thought we had to choose there. That's interesting. Well, initially I thought we had to choose, and then I figured it out. Hooray. That's the first time I've gotten a chest, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, uh, luck is good. Let's get the knife. Ooh. Attack speed. I don't know what attack speed is, because obviously we do have cooldown reduction as well. So I'm not really sure if that's the, the, the speed that, like, projectile speed, kind of, or... I don't know. We also have these plants, which is very reminiscent of vampire survivors and like being surrounded by plants and stuff. So I'm not really sure why we have this, but it does go away after a time. Uh, seven armor again is kind of nice. Let's take that seven armor. We'll take your seven armor. Oh boy. This is getting a bit hairy here. Tiny bit thick, tiny, tiny bit thick. Wow. Oh my God. He's just murdering everything. Holy fuzzy cats. Um, no, uh, uh, greed, greed. I want more greed. How's greedy? Greedy. I want them gold, gold to upgrade them things. Let's go. All right. We have survived more time. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. Nice. Luck is good. Oh, sacred water is actually quite good. We'll take that one. That's very like um, uh, Labora in uh, in Vampire Survivors. Um, you kind of upgrade it. You get more projectiles as it upgrades, that kind of thing. More damage. Really nice. Uh, but I do like his AoE. I want to show you if we have time. I hope we have time in... Um, We'll see Nin, and you'll see how her projectiles are not great. Increases damage by 38? What? Erg! Wow. That's massive. 38. Um, so initially, I was having a hard time surviving just because I got overwhelmed by mobs. And you just can't kill them fast enough because you don't have enough damage. So uh, now I'm doing much better, but it's all because of the passives, you know. Kind of the same thing in Vampire Survivors where you kind of really need the passives to, to help you along there. Okay, gathering. Okay, greed. Yeah, we'll get more greed. We want more greed. What is that, like 21% extra gold now? Something like that. We're doing good. We have full health. Life is good in in killing stuff land. Scarlet Tower land. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know why it's called Scarlet Tower, because I haven't seen any towers anywhere. <laughs> but <laughs> hopefully we'll, it will be revealed at some point. Um, I haven't seen any story either, which is okay. I'm not really big on story anyway, so let's, let's get the luck. I would rather have more enemies dropping stuff than, um, okay. Uh, can I go through here? Yeah, barely, barely. Oh man. I think luck is an important thing. I feel like that's the next thing I should really upgrade, uh, in the upgrades section. Like, that's, like, you spend so much time killing enemies and so much energy doing that, you might as well have, um, more, uh, more stuff come out of it, you know? To me, that just makes sense. I don't know how much those modifiers modify things, though. I don't know, like, what the luck numbers mean, like, what the percentage chance becomes. Because it seems to be just, like, a flat number. It's very strange. Let's get Holy Bible a couple other projectiles and see where this kind of goes. Oh, wow. That Oh, oh my God. Is that a, is that a, that looks like a boss. Wow. And telegraphing. We need to be careful here. Okay. Let's go around. Let's go around. Come on. Come on. We need to keep on moving. Definitely keep moving. Oh boy. 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 We're not doing a good job of killing him. We keep killing other things 
Seven armor. <laughs> Let's go, seven armor. Oh my god. He keeps getting kind of in the middle of this pack here. It's definitely not ideal, but it does feel very, like... I don't really don't... I, I don't really... I can't really do much about it, you know? It's just... This is just the way things are happening. And of course, we can't... I'm not going to aim. I don't want to go into aiming mode. Definitely not into aiming mode. Oh my god. But we are dying quite, quite, quite well here. We are getting hit a lot. Oh boy. There is some regen. I think I need to maybe buff that as well. Though usually in these games, it's like, once you start dying, you're going to be dead. So it don't matter. Just trying to stay out of the... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I forgot I can dash. Oh, man. Whoopsies. Uh, let's do add projectile. Oh, no, 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 no. Careful. Careful. Oh, God. Wow. That was thick. That was really thick. Jeez. Oh, boy. Can't kill this boss, dude. Wow. Dude, aim for the boss, dude. Please. Dude, 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 dude. Whoa! Oh my god. So many things happening at once. That was really difficult to, to see. Still, I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on here. A little bit. A little bit. Ah, crit chance. Let's go with crit chance. I feel like that would be good. Well, what is our crit chance? We are at 11.4. Okay, that's good. That's decent. That's decent. There is the go. Go get the guy. Finally. Oh my god. We got the treasure chest. Finally. I feel like he was really, really hard to deal with. Okay, lucky charm. Okay. Sure. That wasn't a lot in that chest. Jeez, he gave us so much stress for almost nothing. Good lord. Dude, don't protect your treasure so much. Not when you only got one card in there. That ain't even worth getting, man. But I guess it's probably like Vampire Survivor's chest where it's a tiny bit random. Okay, let's see. Greed. Sure. We have... we got. I think we got an achievement because we have 1,300 something. Usually when you have over 1,000, I've noticed it's like, oh yeah, okay. We, got, we must have gotten an achievement and gotten the gold gain from that. Oh god, no! Oh, yeah. Mm. I walked right into that one, that's for sure. Cool, so we elites, elite slayed one. We got one. We didn't get any night shards. No idea where those come from. I like that we have the damage readout here. The frost staff did a lot. Fire staff was about half. So next time we probably want to just grab that frost staff again and just make sure that we have what we have. But I'm really surprised that the scarlet sword was third on the list i thought that would did a lot of damage um but anyway uh we unlocked the critical chance relic Ooh. glacial staff and thunder staff that's fun all right cool so now let's try nin and i'll show you what that's what she's like um so she has an ice queen an ally that fights by your side for 30 seconds she does have this like second person but they don't seem to do much Anyway, uh, we have no uh, stuff like this. We did survive. No, we didn't get... I don't know if we got anything. Okay, we did get the critical chance relic and the cooldown reduction relic. Okay, very nice. So now we can spend our money. I'm thinking greed and luck are probably great. So let's get greed. Uh-huh. Oh, and we can't afford it anymore. No, sad times. Can we afford anything? We can afford attack speed. Um, regeneration, let's get that. Oh, wow. 0.2 points a second. That's not a lot. Okay. It's okay, though. Let's try it. It's fine. Let's go. Okay, so you'll see her weapon and, and see the way it... Well, actually, it does have some fair AoE, doesn't it? Okay. Never mind. I guess I was just playing badly or something. Okay, Power Gauntlet is great because it increases damage dealt by 10%. Let's get the Frost Staff. That was doing a lot of damage in our last round. So, but now we're going to have more Greed, so we get a little bit more gold. That was six. I want to pick up one piece of gold and find out how much that is. 
Okay, knife throws, fire staff. Let's just get the weapons, all the weapons we can, really. There we go. Boom. Okay, 3% cooldown reduction. Okay, thunder staff. I haven't, we haven't tried this before. Summons lightning bolts on enemies, enemies every 7 seconds. Each bolt deals 30. Oh, wow. We've got stuff. Glacial staff, icy rain. Okay, applies chill. Let's go. All right, we got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, okay, glacial staff, three projectiles. I'll take it. Oh, that must be the glacial staff there. Wow, that's nice. There's also these random things that are in the in the world, like these little thingies, like a little totem or something. And you can stand there for a few seconds, and it will uh, kill enemies around you. There's several different kinds, but they kind of have the same effect. Okay, gathering range. Do we care? I don't know. Attack speed. I don't want any of these. Let's do Q reroll. All right. Glacial damage. Yeah, that sounds good. Take that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sure, knife. Take all the things. All the things we can. Attack speed. Greed. Oh, I should have taken the damage, though. I think greed always trumps damage in general. But yeah, this is the Ice Queen, and she doesn't seem to do much. I think you might have to unlock her with those the purple points or whatever, or, or maybe it's gold, I forget. But it's like she it doesn't feel like she does much. Okay, damage, yeah. Let's take it. I honestly don't know which is the Thunder Staff. I'm trying to like figure out which one does what. Oh, there's just lightning stuff that comes from the sky here. 24. I'm trying to get like one gold here. Okay, 24 and there's two gold. 28, okay. So that's two apiece. Crit chance. There's the cunning ring. Now let's take that. We take that. We only have three rerolls, so that's not a lot, but it's okay. These staffs are so great. Oh my god. These are so much like so much better than the starter weapons you're given. I highly recommend unlocking those. <laughs> they feel really impactful, really impactful. So we need to probably want to get some cooldown reduction on those um, to make these better. Uh, mm, let's get two projectiles on the fire. Wow, so much death and destruction. This is great. 104, 106. Yep, still only getting two gold per gold. It's not great. Luck is good. Yeah, let's take some luck. Let's take some luck. Maybe have more, more items dropping from these enemies. Again, I don't know the numbers on this. I wish I did because like sometimes it's like, okay, if it increases your luck by 2%, I don't want to... I don't care about that, you know? Uh, let's see. Do there, please. Nice. This is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, those red ones are very fast. Gotta watch out for those. Okay, damage. Yep, let's take that. At first I used to take the Avarice Touch, the Gathering Range, but since there's a passive for that, and once you get that to wherever I am, it's it's only like level 1 or something, and it seems like it's sufficient. It's, uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. Let's see, yep, like a charm. And it doesn't use a slot, that's even better, you know? There we go. One thing that kind of adds a little bit of um, of interest here is that the the trees have a hitbox, and if you get stuck on a tree, you're in. It's bad. It's bad. You can't move. So it's like, oh my god, I I'm, I got hit by the tree. Dang it! Two projectiles. Sure. Why don't we take that one? Okay. Oopsies. Careful. Careful. I can't. 
I'm really curious to see what a bigger gathering range is like, though. It's like, or how do, how big does this get? You know, could be pretty cool. Frost staff, that seems good. Oh, I'm kind of curious about the the Midas again. Kind of like that extra gold stuff here, but yeah, you kind of have to grind gold a bit in this game, or unlock a bunch of stuff. That's another thing. Okay, there we go. We're doing really well here. Decreases cooldown by two seconds. That's very nice. Wasn't that one or one of them was like seven seconds or something, and now that's minus two seconds? That's pretty great. That's significant. All right. We need to increase the gold gain, though, because that's kind of the point of this here. Three projectiles. Let's do that. But yeah, we also got to be able to kill stuff. That's quite important as well. It's all a balance. All of this. Everything's a balance. There we go. Grabbing crystals. Grabbing gold. Oh, careful, careful, careful. This is a nice area, actually. This is a big field. Or a big meadow. Where there's less enemies. Maybe. Maybe less enemies. Maybe not. Oh, there's a bunch of gold over there. Greed. So I guess it's just a flat rate on the gold and not um, fractional. Which is a bit interesting. Eighteen twenty. Yep. Yeah. Still not getting more than two per piece. That's annoying. Okay, knives can pierce through three enemies. That's very good. That is really nice. This is quite the departure from Spellbook Demon Slayers as well. Uh, it's been on this kind of like dark theme, which is interesting and fun. Also, there are some bigger XP crystals. I don't know if you saw that one I just picked up, but yeah, there are those as well. Increases damage. Or oh, Let's have some greed. Oh, we got a treasure chest. Well then. Okay, nice. Go and grab that real quick. Okay, knife increases damage. I'll take it. Yeah. Feels a bit dangerous, though, because of, like, you gotta press escape with your WASD hand. <laughs> yeah. Just like, oh, we have, a, we have an elite. They're sending us massive uh, bolts of ow. Massive bolts of ow. That's a new KOS phrase. There you go. Uh, let's do the knife, adding more projectiles. We can definitely use those. No, oh, those. Okay, the elite is not very damaged. Probably need to take care of that slightly. Walked right by him, man. We walked right by him. Let's get this money over here and stuff. This is like a really big little collection of stuff. Oh, God. Cosmic orb. Look, it's red. Increases damage by... Oh, that's our main weapon. Of course it is. Um, increases damage by 20. That seems good. Very, oh god, I almost I almost got killed by the tree there. It caught me! It was holding me captive! The tree! Help! Help! It was the tree that got me, I swear. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. There we go. But I do feel like her weapons are random enough that we should be able to kill that elite faster. I don't know if that's the case, though. It seems like we're not. I don't know. Power gauntlet. Yep, damage by 10%. Let's do that. It's so obviously, the, obviously the elite takes a lot more damage than the little mobs to kill. We are getting a lot of money out here. This is good. Finally, we're getting kind of like hit that critical mass of plenty of enemies and... Kind of walking, kind of doing the thing. Okay, greed, let's go. Oh, I should have gotten the mo oh, move speed. No, dang it, it was a tree. Those darn trees, they keep getting me. They're dangerous, I tell you. Trees are dangerous. Can you can you just kill that dude, please? Jeez Louise. Okay, there's a box there. We'll go and get the box. Let's circle around a tiny bit. 
Uh, at least there are arrows for the box. That's quite nice because it's behind a tree. Haste scarf. Okay, increase attack speed. Uh, do we want this? Hmm. Kind of want to discard it. Go away. We did get 100 gold from that. That's nice. Oh, boy. Because I didn't want it to fill another slot. Okay, let's just take the fire staff so that we can upgrade that further. Because I'm not really... I don't really care about the projectile speed uh, at all. But we want to get to the next level of stuff. So that's why I took that. Sometimes you got to go through a level to get what you really want. Okay... Kill stuff! Go, go, go! Lots of gold everywhere. So this is really nice. Gosh, I like these new weapons. These are pretty great. Luck. Yeah, let's take the luck. Again, I, ha I wish I knew what the luck meant. Like, what did the numbers mean? Luck plus six. What does that mean? Is that plus six percent? Or is that just six times some other multiplier? Who even knows, you know? It's really strange the way that one is done. Because a lot of the other ones are very, very visible. Like, okay, it's this amount of percent that you increase it by. So I'd rather have that. It seems very strange that that one is just randomly a number without, you know, telling you anything. I wish it said, okay, so enemies have X percent to drop an item. And the luck is, you know x whatever more it's more <laughs> okay we're still getting two two gold for each gold how can this be no we're not actually we're not getting two gold per gold 34 35 we're getting less gold per gold no that's bad that is bad i don't know what's going on with that okay gathering range i you know what we'll take it it's fine it is fine. We'll, we like gathering range. I could use more of it right now. There we go. We're actually doing really well. We're surviving a long time as well. 5,000 gold. We must have gotten another achievement there. Um, increases the number of enemies a fireball can hit by five? Yes! Plus five, I should say. By plus five. Well, increases by five should be. It shouldn't be by plus five because plus five doesn't make sense in that statement. You know, you're, it's, it's redundant, basically. Okay, let's take this. Because when you say increases, uh, then you're all automatically adding a plus sign there. Oh, wow. This is, this is great. These are great weapons. Okay, so now we know what to take. These are fun. Yes. Kill all the things. Cosmic or increase knockback distance. Oh, glacial staff. Four projectiles. Yes! <laughs> Take that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Yepers. 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 I do feel like, you know, you have all these choices, like six choices of weapon, six choices of passives. It feels like there aren't, there's like only six passives in the game. It feels like there's very little choice in that. Um, but I don't know. I could, oh, no, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Careful. Is that meat over there? What is that? What is that thing on the ground? I don't know what that is, but it looked interesting. Okay. Damage glacial staff by 30. Ha ha ha. The damage shall be mine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Get all this gold and tasty stuff here. Oh my God. Careful. Careful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're doing really well. We are doing very, very well. Gonna try to survive. Trying to survive here. Uh, let's get the armor. <laughs> that seems like a prudent idea. Wait, what was that? That seemed really interesting. Is there an enemy there? Something happened. Like, the graphics changed here. All the enemies are very different as well. Let me go back up now. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, <gasps> purple things! Oh my god, we're getting purple things. Holy fuzzy cats. <gasps> no, 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 careful! Dangerous! 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 This is bad. This is very dangerous. Okay, damage dealt. 
or frost staff. Uh, let's do damage dealt. I want to see if there's more purple stuff down there I can collect. There is, there is. Oh, I was gonna. I was trying to dash through. Dang it. Oh wow. Okay, so we found where you get the purple stuff. Hooray. That was scary. Okay, so glacial staff and fire staff. The knife did damage too. Thunder staff. Okay, so frost staff actually was on the bottom of this thing. Um, so glacial fire and knife and thunder. Huh. Cool. Well, we did well. Look how what look what we unlocked here. Expert survivor general. That's probably like a time one. Move speed relic. Hellfire staff. Oh, unlock hero. Oh, we got a new hero. Frost scythe. Goblins killer. Okay, expert slime killer. We've got a lot of money. Seven thousand four hundred gold. All right, that's cool. So let's go. Let's try to. St oh, we get Lance. Let's try out Lance. Never tried him before. Main bow. Uh, main weapon is a celestial bow. Shoots a burst of arcane arrows. Each arrow deals twenty-five damage and can pierce through two enemies. Okay, and his static seal. Every five seconds, mark a nearby tur target. The seal unleashes a thunderstorm when hit, dealing area damage. Oh, that sounds tasty. You know what? Let's take it. Take that. We will take it. Um, and then we're gonna go next. Defensive. Yeah, we can get a little bit of this. Uh, all right. Let's go here. I really want. Oh, that's cool. Kill 5,000 enemies at nighttime. You get another hero. Oh, that's cool. So it's nighttime that we're seeing. All right, we have 55. We need 1,000 upgrades. Oh, my God. Okay. What do we want here mostly? I think we want greed. We also want regen, I think. Um, move speed would be good. Um, armor. I don't know how much we're going to get for the next armor. Anyway. Okay, attack is max crit chance. I think we want gathering range. It's only 10% per each, so it gets very expensive. Luck, I think, is important. Plus 25% luck. That's good. Greed. Yes, plus all the greed. 21% uh, greed. And shall we take HP? Maybe we take HP. Sure. Okay, good. Let's go again. I like this game. This is really fun. I, th I recommend this game. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, we got food. Oh, we didn't even need it. Okay, so it looks like if you destroy torches and stuff, you get food. Uh, very like Vampire Survivors. Thunder Staff. We'll take that. We want the other stuff. I want to try those new ones as well. Let's try Power Gauntlet there. Cunning Ring. Um, Fire Staff was good. Oh, here we go. Holy Bible or Fancy Feet. I want to take Fancy Feet. Sure, move speed. I like move speed. It is good stuff. It will help you not die. Frost Staff. I want the greed, I think. Because I want to get some of those new ones. We also got some kind of like Goblin Scythe or something. Hellfire Staff. Yeah. Oh, I want to see what that looks like. What does... Oh, Oh my god, that's fun. Okay, cool. Very cool. Lucky charm. Oh yeah, let's take this one. We already have the thunder staff, I think. All right, this is our magic thingy thingy. Okay. Uh, cooldown reduction? Yeah, let's can take that. Seems good. Three percent seems very low, so I'm not really sure how great that's gonna be. Um, that was good. I'm not really sold on the Hellfire thing because it feels like it's just one tiny area. I guess it could be good if it spawns underneath a boss, but eh, I don't know. Seems like it's really random, and it doesn't even target an enemy. That's the worst part of it, I think. All right, Slime Staff. Oh, we haven't tried this one yet. Shoots slime fluid every nine seconds, dealing 50 damage and applying chill. Oh my god, that seems really weird. Is that the purple? It's really pretty if it's... The no, it's his, his uh, sh arrows are the purple, I think. 
Oh, no, it's green, I think. And the green splits off when it hits an enemy. That's kind of cool. Very, like, fireworks or something. <laughs> okay, growth shield note. Slime staff, sure. Oh, wow, that's very pretty. It is like fireworks. This this is like fireworks, this build. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Cunning ring, 3% critical chance. Frost side. There we go. I'm going to try this. Creates a blast of size that pierce through enemies, dealing 10 damage. It sounds very like the, the um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. The evolved uh, Candelabrador plus the, whatchamacallit thing. I forgot what it's called. Oh, but yeah. Uh, the Red Death has that one to start off with. Uh, cooldown reduction. Yeah, we already have that, so we can take this. Kind of trying to be a little bit choosy about what we got here. This, the, the scythes do seem really good. Uh, well, they don't trigger very often, though, so that would be a nicer thing. Fire Staff, Thunder Staff. Let's go. Let's get that Thunder Staff going. I wasn't going to take that one this time since we'd already seen it, but kind of like this. I like, it, you know, unraveling new weapons as we go. There we go. Oh, we, there's a chest down there. Nice. Very nice. That is weird. We haven't been down here in like ages. Why would it spawn all the way down here? Oh my God, there's water. Cool. Oops, what's going on there? That was weird. Going through that area was, like, strange. All right, am I supposed to go through here, though? Cool down, okay. And you would need to kill some of these things to get out, I think. Can I walk through these? Yeah, I can. Cool. <gasps> no, I can't! Oh my god, I got damaged so badly. Holy fuzzy cats. I think I'm not doing very well because we need to circle around. I don't know why this arrow is here. Oh, here's a here's a environmental thingy that will kill stuff. Wow, that was impactful. Again, I don't know what's down here. I'm kind of like, what is going on here? Is there a map? No. But now we know what that circle is. It's a clock, and you can see the sun, and we're going through the daytime right now. wonder what's down here. It's quite far away. And I should do some more circling around, because I really am not getting a lot of XP or gold at all here. Which we really need to increase our, um, our damage, because, like, we don't want to die. Don't want to die completely. But I do kind of wonder what's down there because I haven't seen this arrow before. Move speed. Yeah, let's get that. Wow, that, that green slime thing just hit one after the other after the other. That was pretty cool. On moving a little bit. Go in that general direction of the arrow. Seven armor. That's uh seems like a nice thing. Oh, what's this? Can I get through here? No, I cannot. I'm trying to get through those trees there. There might be an entrance somewhere, but I didn't get it. Gosh, wow, that was kind of crazy. Fireworks build is pretty cool, but this obsession with going down to the left is not great. Okay, so here we have this lovely fountain of death for our enemies. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Get all the XP and uh, money here. Oh. Damage on our bow. It's 
It's kind of weird that like your main weapon would be the hardest upgrade to get, or it does seem a lot rarer than the other weapons. Very strange that. Nice place to just stand still. Oh, there's a, there is a chest there. Why would it spawn so far away? I don't really understand that at all. Kind of strange. Is it worth going and getting it? Maybe. God. Just trying to get this gold stuff. Oh, there's a hmm. Size can pierce through three enemies. That's quite nice. At least we know we're guaranteed to hit this uh this elite with the scythes whenever they end up procking. Or pretty much guaranteed anyway. There we go. Okay, gathering range. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Darn it. Okay, attack speed. Can I take this? Oh yeah, that's what I just got, I think. Or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was that was a mistake. I shouldn't have taken that. I should have just evaporated it or re-rolled or something. That was not ideal. Why is there a chest down there? I still am curious about this chest. Is it just a regular chest or is it some magic chest? I want to find out that. We got a snack. Nice. Lots of snacks are happening here. Jeez. Don't even need them. I should go back up and see if I can gather some XP here. Oh, okay, that was not ideal. That's four projectiles on explode. Okay, sounds... Wow, that's very festive. Oh my god. That was pretty great. Oh, nice. Alright, great. I'll take it. Very nice. I guess we wait for these... Um, flowers on the outside there. Yep, there we go. That was fine. I didn't mind getting a little bit of XP there. Okay, yep. Yeah, I don't like the Inferno staff or whatever the heck it's called. I don't like it at all. I think that's a really bad one. Seems really random if the enemies like get in there. Maybe it's better if you're doing the circling uh, strat. Oh, here's a here's a thing. An environmental thingy thing. Kills all the things. Works pretty well that. Let's just circle around a bit and try to get some of this stuff. Oh boy. That I thought I was gonna get really murdered there. Seems okay. Move speed. Yep. You know, I haven't actually tried to move through that lake. I might be able to. <laughs> it might be just a pond. I can walk through instead of having to avoid it. Still working for this chest. What is this? Oh, that's a lamp. Okay. That's food, basically. Shouldn't be so obsessed with this silly chest. It's probably just some regular chest. Or is it? Yep. Hellfire staff. Increased damage by 20. Seems like a lot. Yeah, stuff is not dying instantly, that's for sure. Might need to, like, just do a little bit of... This area is really bad, though, for... This is better. I could go around here a bit. So it's, like, a little bit more of a clearing. 
But yeah, I can walk over the ponds. They're fine. <laughs> They're fine. We don't drown. It's fine. It's just good. Yep. Alright, getting all this lovely gold here. Nice. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good old. Good, good gold. Yeah, good, good old. Don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, increases arrows, increases greed. Let's get the greed. Greed. I should have taken the arrows, though, because we're having trouble with killing stuff. Greed does not help you if you can't kill stuff. Hmm. Nope, it does not. But we're okay right now. We haven't uh, died yet. Not yet. We will die, I'm quite sure, in the future, because that's how these games are. But it's fine. Damage. Yes, we'll take the damage. So we're going to try to focus damage right now. We really have to focus getting more XP as well. I'm not going to go for that chest. Not yet. I definitely just need more XP right now. Okay, there we go. Looking good, looking good. I really like these games because they give my right hand a rest. Like, I don't have to click. Um, which is kind of great because... Um, you know, like playing... I've been playing a lot of Factorio and that's really hard on the hands. Like, a lot of Factorio. Um, so having a game like this is really much more restful. Of course, we're going to go way over time on the episode because of this run, I bet. But it's okay. I don't care. Hopefully it will be something you'll enjoy. But yeah, I like just doing the WASD with my left hand and... Okay, seven armor. Let's do that one. I feel like armor could be good in this situation where you have a lot of enemies around you. A lot of enemies. Okay, it's fine. Oh, fountain. Oh, it's nighttime. This is kind of great. Because now we can get those crystals. Just gotta watch out because... Oh, boy. Okay. Grab some crystals and... Oh, my God. These enemies are bad. Urk! Help! And we're stuck. We're stuck in this circle as well. Circle of doom. <gasps> no! No, no! Careful! Careful. Help. Oh, jeez. Um, hmm. move speed, please. Yeah. Let's take that move speed, shall we? Oh my God. I can't believe we got so low on health here. It's a bit terrible. Really terrible. I'm going to just, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. No, no. Tree. Tree. I hit the tree. Oh no. Yeah. The tree's bad. The trees are bad. The trees are owie. The trees prevent me from moving. Um, hmm. let's get the scythes piercing. That seems better. Seems very good. Okay, to kill enemies. Kill enemies in the dark. Yeah, enemies in the dark. One moon circles, eyes in the dark. Yeah, Star Trek references, even in the midst of the Scarlet Tower. Okay, I'm trying to get the money. Trying to get the stuff and the things. All the stuff and things. I don't even know what attack speed is in this game. I feel like I e either have attack speed or cooldown reduction. I don't really know what attack speed is. Is it projectile speed? Because we have that on other things, but it's called projectile speed. So I don't really know. Hmm. Gosh, there's lots of stuff to pick up everywhere. Some of those getting greedy for the purple stuff, I gotta say. Greedy for the purple stuff. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, there's a whole a whole passel of stuff in here. Move speed, yes. I was tempted to get the cooldown, but man, move speed here. We really need the move speed, I think. Oh, here's the thing can delete things. Oh my god, wow, that was perfect. <gasps> that gave me everything. That was great. Okay, more armor. We'll take it. We'll take it. That was that green thing. Let me pick up all the things. Oh my god, that was great. Okay, food is good. Food is very tasty. Very tasty, nice. Okay. 
Oh, there's another box up here. Try to go for that. Okay, attack speed up, which I don't know what that is. Arrows. Well, we'll do more arrows for sure. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a thousand a thousand purple things, which means I can spend them on a thing. Oh my god, this is big. <gasps> wow, that's a big boss. Hey. Hey, hey. Oh my god. The uh, the areas of damage are massive here. Okay, okay. Okay. Go away. Shoo. I'm just gonna try to pick up my purple crystals. That's all I want. I'm not gonna mess with you, dude. Just want my crystals. Armor? Sure. Let's do armor. How much damage does he need? Jeez. He's like... Needs a ton of, of damage here. Oh boy. Wow, that's gross. He's like vomiting on us. Oof, 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 oof. Looks like those green areas are probably damaging as well. So I'm not going to get into those if I can help it. Kind of like pick up the crystals. He has a lot of hit points. Oh my god. It's gonna take three years to kill him. Whoa, okay, okay. That's dangerous. Can I can I get out of this circle, please? Thank you. Good lord. Way too much time spent in there. Damage dealt by 10%. Yeah, let's try that. Seem to be doing pretty well with the regen plus whatever else we're picking up. Probably some food items from lamp posts or something. Should we try to keep on going down? Let's try to keep going down. And go for that box, whatever that box might be. This special random box that's three miles away or a hundred miles away. I don't know how far it is. Quite far. I've done really well on the purple stuff as well. It's kind of great. Kind of great. Big, big XP. Oh, wow. The XP is really difficult to get right now. But we have most of our stuff completely upgraded anyway, so... Oh, that's good. Very good. Okay. Oh, and another box appeared up here. All right, we'll go back for that because it is nice to have a box. There's a box. Okay, gives us armor. I'll take it. Especially since XP is so hard to come by right now. Oh, that was cool. Hit him full in the face there. But yeah, this is this dude is really difficult to kill. I wonder what you get if you kill him. Probably an achievement of some kind, which might give us... Some more gold or more stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Yes. Let's take that for now. Oh. We can go oh God. Whoa. 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 I thought that was a break, but it was a tree. Ah. Whoops. That weren't so good. That was really bad, in fact. Go up and grab this stuff. Okay. Keep on going. Keep on going. I kind of like his, um, his thing, his, um, whatchamacallit, his skill, his bow. I think it's a nice thing. We are almost at full health. Oh, okay, not anymore. Never mind. Never mind. No health anymore. It's fine. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Hello. Hello. We're back. Sort of back. Oh boy. Let's get through here. Get all the prizes. I want my prizes. Dang it. OK, 
Okay, there's a there's a fountain here. I really want the fountain. Fountains are great. We like the fountain. Come over here, bossy dude. Oh, bossy dude is getting murdered by that fountain. That's cool. That's very cool. All right, another fountain is over here. Hey, bossy dude. All right, let's go and get that box if we can. Wow, stuff is just killing me here. Oh, I couldn't even get the box. We got really close there. Wow, only 4 minutes and 19 seconds left on this. We got this. Oh, no! Oh! Well, it doesn't matter. I would I died anyway. But static seal. What the heck is that? I don't know what those are. Are those? Maybe those are the fountains. Um, Frost scythe did damage. Celestial Bow was the best. Wow, and we didn't even upgrade it fully. We had th two upgrades left on that one. So Slime Staff was the worst, even though it was very... I thought it, it did really good stuff. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the Static Seal is probably those environmental uh, hazards. Because I think it murdered the, the, um, the boss there. But the bow did a lot of damage twice as much as the fire staff so bow frost thunder hellfire did very little slime did very little that's that's surprising i thought the slime would have done more because of all the projectiles and stuff but that's okay we're trying to remember these bow scythe and the thunder staff we got um a hero corruption robe Ooh. okay cool so we killed many things. We got many night shards. We got some gold and we go to the menu. So anyway, um, this is Scarlet Tower. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, come to the discord. We are going to run the giveaway probably till Tuesday and then I'll announce the winners on my stream. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.